Do you want an easy blow dry to give volume and smoothness and be easy on your arms and shoulders? Not sure which blow dry brush to get or unsure on how to use it? We're letting T3 and Drybar battle it out today to find out which is right for you. Man, I don't know which one I like better. Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Summer. All things blow dries today, or should I say blow dry brushes. I love me a good blow dry. What's not to love about being able to give yourself some fullness or smoothness and not exhaust your arms while doing it. So I'm comparing dry bar single shot and T3's airbrush duo today, which you can find linked below on top of giving you some extra tips to get that fullness you are seeking as well as getting a sleek look. Quick important breakdowns on the T3 and dry bar. These are both a round shape as opposed to the oval shape many other blow dry brushes are. I prefer a round shape for myself. The oval shape is great, but I prefer the roundness for my own finer hair type as I tend to want more fullness. These are both very close in size, T3 being two and a half inches and dry bar single shot two and a quarter, very close. To be honest, the T3 looks smaller to me than two and a half inches and the dry bar looks bigger to me than the T3. So I'm sort of confused, but we're just gonna go with it. Price points, they're fairly close as well. The T3 Airbrush Duo also comes with a paddle brush attachment and it retails for 189 US dollars and the single shot is 155 US dollars. So just a little less. We're just gonna hop right into comparing these beauties. For both blow dry styling products I'm using are Moroccan Oils Root Boost for my roots, their Volumizing Mousse for my mid to ends and the Perfect Defense Everywhere Spray to give me my heat protection always use a heat protectant. It is a must with any blow dry and especially a must with a blow dry brush. To show these beauties in action, I'm gonna be showing them simultaneously while breaking down some of their differences and giving some blow dry tips as well. I like to do a rough dry just to get out some of the moisture and soak out of my hair. You don't wanna overdo it with your rough dry, whether you want volume or to tame your frizz. Once your hair is too dry, it's much harder to create the shape that you want as your hair is already forming into its own mess, so to speak, from being too dry. T3 wins in the rough dry department as you can remove the brush from the dryer to use for your rough dry or a dry bar, you would have to use a separate dryer. Not a big deal, but it is a perk of the T3. Both blow dries, I'm placing my hair into some sections to keep it nice and neat, and I will start at the base of my head. T3 has five different heat settings, which seems excessive, but it also can meet the needs of any hair type. Dry bar has your standard three heat settings to choose from, and I'm going to go with the highest naturally, of course, for both of them. Another additional perk of the T3 Airbrush Duo is that it has a volume boost switch. So I'm very curious to see if there is any sort of difference with that compared to that not being an option on the dry bar single shot. If you are wanting to create the most smoothness and not as much volume, you wanna pull your hair either straight out or keep the hair flowing down with your brush to tame your frizz or smooth out any waves or curls you have. To create extra volume or fullness, you really wanna make sure you are lifting the hair straight up as much as possible. The more straight up you pull, you will get more height versus just pulling straight out or down. I like rolling my hair into the brush to really form that bend and working the brush on both sides of my hair, so top and bottom. This is going to allow you to get the hair dry on both sides and provide a little more protection to your hair when drying. If you are only placing the dryer on the bottom of your section, it's gonna take much longer for the heat to work all the way through to the top, and this is gonna lead to extra stress on the hair that's already dry, which we do not want. Moving the dryer top and bottom also adds more movement to your hair, and it's actually much easier to do this with a blow dry brush on yourself versus a standard separate blow dryer and brush on its own. The dry bar I feel like is drying my hair a little bit faster than the T3, which is always nice. The lower half of my hair took me just over nine minutes and 13 seconds with the dry bar and the T3 just 30 seconds longer at nine minutes and 41. Dry bar single shots air vents are a touch bigger than the T3 making a difference in the time, but I wanna say at times I felt it was harder to get my hair wrapped around the barrel compared to a T3. When I am moving from section to section, I like to just let out the hair that I will be 
dry and keep the rest of my hair clipped up. I like using little duckbill clips for this and I'll link some in the description. This way, none of your damp hair is resting on your nice dry sections below and it's not gonna interfere with the style that you have already created. While the dry bar is drying my hair a little faster than T3, I like how the bristles are placed on the T3 airbrush. There is an even mix all throughout the brush where the dry bar single shot has areas on the brush without those softer bristles. I feel like T3 is doing a better job at smoothing out my ends and I attribute that to the extra grip from the evenness of the bristles compared to the distribution of them on the single shot. The crown and top areas of your hair, this is where you really want to over direct as much as possible if volume and fullness is what you are wanting. Because you're moving the hair in the opposite direction of how it naturally lays, this is what's going to give you the most volume or fullness. This is also where running the blow dryer on both sides of your section comes in handy to lifting. If over directing is too much of a challenge for you with your shoulders, you can simply place the brush on top or the front part of your section and work your dryer up and towards the front of your face. This helps create some lift while being a little easier to get the section dry nice and evenly. Another step you can add into your blow dries is opting to use the cool setting. This adds some time to your blow dry, but it also allows for your hair to lock into the shape you are creating. And it's great at preventing frizz once your hair is styled. The heat of a dryer is what allows your hair to work into the shape that you want and the cool air locks it into place. Dry bar wins in this category. I found it easier to adjust the setting to cool on the dry bar than T3. Dry bar, all I had to do was twist with my hand without removing the brush where T3 I found myself accidentally hitting the on and off button. Don't get me wrong, it was still easy to hit it, but I found less accidents happening with the dry bar over T3. All right, we are officially done with my blow dries and it's time to give my final thoughts. My hair looked great from both dryers, very similar. And when looking back at the footage, I was like, man, I don't know which one I like better. I felt like the dry bar gave me a little more movement and volume than the T3, but I also felt like T3 made my hair look a little more sleek with just a touch more shine. Overall, my hair felt softer and better from the T3 than dry bar, which I attribute to the ceramic coating the T3 offers. Dry bar does not specify on what their coating is on the single shot. The dry bar single shot did dry my hair just barely faster than T3's airbrush duo. Both glided well through my hair, but the T3 was a little easier to move around my extensions than the dry bar, which was nice for me. I think both are great options that are going to lead to great results. If you're someone with more unruly hair and smoothness and shine is what you are looking for, the T3 Airbrush Duo is probably going to be better suited for you. The mix of bristles will grip onto your hair a little bit better than the single shot and with the paddle brush attachment that comes with it, it's a very nice bonus. If fullness is what you're looking for, I would opt for the dry bar single shot. While it's not like it gave me so much more fullness, it did, I feel, just have that extra kick. And I think the bigger slots of heat coming out helps play into that as more heat is getting out at one time, really allowing to help with the lift. Hopefully this video was able to help give you some tips and make a decision on which one is right for you. And both will be linked in the description below. If you find yourself still unsure about the right blow dry brush, be sure to check out these other videos to help you further out.